KFC saucy nuggets are dripping. Choose from honey sriracha, Georgia gold, Nashville hot, Korean barbecue, or sticky chicken. KFC saucy nuggets. Hey guys, today we are back at KFC. This is a place that we come to quite often on this channel. Seems like they've been getting a lot of new items recently. And today we're here to try their saucy nuggets. We tried their nuggets when they came on the menu about a year ago, really enjoyed them. Now they brought out five different sauces. Three of them are brand new, two are returning favorites, and they also have apple pie poppers. We're gonna try that also. Let's head into KFC, try all five of them and we'll tell you which one we like the best. So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. Looks like they have them on the window. New Saucy Nuggets, 10 for $5.99. take a look at the menu and see what these cost as a combo or by themselves. Eight piece combo, $8.29. 10 piece combo, $9.99. 12 piece, $10.49. The five piece is $3.49. I wasn't sure if you could get these in a five piece. I thought it started with eight. The eight piece is four fifty nine. dollars 10 piece, $5.99. 12, $6.69. Now let's look at the apple pie poppers. Four pieces, $2.49. If you want 10, they are $5.49. We're starting off with the three new ones first. The honey sriracha, Korean barbecue, and sticky chicky. Which one you want to do first, Bobby? Let's try the sticky chicky. And we went with the five piece on all of these just because we can't eat that many of them. The sticky chicken sweet and sour sauce. It's balancing sweet and tangy flavors with hints of pineapple, garlic, vinegar, and chili. I'm anxious to try this one because we love sweet and sour. We enjoyed these nuggets when we tried them a year ago. They are flavored with the Colonel's 11 spices. They're 100% white meat and hand breaded. And the breading is the original recipe. Looks like they got a good amount of sauce on them. They're not a bad size for uh -uh. nuggets. Nope. Cut this one in half so you can see what it looked like inside the white meat. I like this one. It's a sticky sauce. It's sweet. I don't get any of the pineapple flavor though. The chicken flavor from those 11 herbs and spices still comes through. Even through that sauce. Mm -hmm. I'm anxious to try it. The name says it's sticky chicken. Let's find out by picking it up. Pretty saucy. Heads up. I wouldn't eat any of these. I'll be in the car. You drop one of these, it's gonna be all over you. Now stickiness, not really sticky. It's a little sticky. Not as sweet as I thought it would be. You can really taste the KFC chicken through that. The 11 herbs and spices like Bobby was talking about. I didn't think you'd be able to taste it through the sauce. Sweet and sour sauce. I don't get a lot of sour, more sweetness. It's pretty good, but I bet you it's not going to be my favorite. The sweet and sour is one of my favorites. I thought this would be the best thing that I tried. But it is good because these nuggets are just so good. Next, we're trying the Korean barbecue. This is a blend of sweet and savory featuring soy sauce, garlic, sugar, and sesame. You can really smell that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as soon as I pop the lid, you can smell it. That's sauced up nice. It's covered well with the sauce. Mm -hmm. 
What did you think of the Korean barbecue sauce flavor? This one's good. I get a lot of the soy flavor to this, a little saltiness. I get a little bit of heat from this one. I think this would be good with a side of rice. Maybe they should put that on the menu. Get a cup of rice on the side. These are pretty good size for chicken nuggets. They remind me with the sauce of being like a boneless wing. Maybe that's what they're going with. Since they don't have boneless wings, maybe they're kind of making these like boneless wings. I enjoyed that one. That one reminds me of a sweet teriyaki flavor. But then you get some heat on the back end. And pretty good amount of heat, surprisingly. You good got flavor. a lot of the sauce from the bottom, I more did. than I did, because I got some heat, but you were like, this is hot. Yeah, I really can taste it in the back of my throat. It's very good, though. So overall, if you like teriyaki, if you like sweetness, and a little bit of heat on the back end, you're going to enjoy those, and Bobby's correct. You need some rice with that. I'm liking this review, because it seems like I'm right a lot on this one. <laughs> Find out we got three more to go. The last new one, Honey Sriracha, a fusion of sweetness and heat crafted from red chili peppers. You can smell that, that smells sweet. That almost smells more like a sweet and sour sauce than the sweet and sour sauce did. When you see the amount of sauce they put on these. I'm hoping this one's not too spicy. You think it may be sweet, just the way it smells, so we'll see. I already know what you're gonna say about this. <laughs> this one, you get the sweetness from the honey, but those red chili peppers just are overpowering. The more I ate this, I got more heat. So this is definitely a no-no for me. Too spicy. This one really smells good. Another pretty good size nugget. All of these have been sauced real well. Now, something we said on the first one, we tried the sweet and sour one, is you can taste the KFC nugget itself, the herbs and spices. These last two, this is more about the sauce that they're using. You can still get that great flavor of chicken, but the sauce is taking over. Now, this one, when I first bit into it, I could taste that honey. It's a little sweet, but then the heat kicks in on it. Sorry, Bobby. For me, this isn't too hot, but it does have a kick. I don't know, that Korean barbecue in the back of my throat was almost as spicy as this, but... I uh, see, for me, it wasn't. Yeah, I know, that's funny. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But this does have some heat. I think it's maybe those chili peppers they use, mm -hmm. huh? But it is very good. Yeah. Like all three of them. I do like it. I just wish it wasn't so spicy. Well, let me ask you, do you agree that these last two, it's more about the sauce than it is the chicken? Yeah. Yes, you're right about that this time. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm right this time. <laughs> Two returning favorites, the Georgia Gold and the Nashville Hot. Let's go with the Georgia Gold. Bobby, saving the Nashville Hot to last for you. Thank you. Georgia Gold Honey Mustard Barbecue. It's a tangy honey mustard barbecue sauce made with vinegar, honey, and savory seasoning. I used to order these in the tenders when they had them. Always yeah, enjoyed it. I like these ones. All right. Look at that one. I'll save that one for you, John. All okay. right. Go. I think the nuggets are pretty good size I today. Too. Here's a little one. I'm going to try a little one. See the sauce dripping Let's off just them. see that again. Oh, yeah. We shook this one up so we could get it covered more. They take a squeeze bottle in the back to put these sauces on and they just shake that, but you can always shake them more. Maybe we should have done that. Mm -hmm. I like this one. I'm getting a mustard flavor to it, some tanginess, but some heat. I don't know where the heat's coming from, but it's pretty spicy. Can you taste the honey in it? I'm not getting a lot of honey. I'm getting spice. You can see it's kind of dripping. Mm -hmm. So this one's more of a oily sauce. I wonder if that's why. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't remember it being spicy, but it's been a long time since we tried it. See how it's not as thick. There's a lot more oil involved in this one. I'm gonna have to agree with you again, Bobby. It does have some heat. Now this is, again, an oily sauce. So I can taste a little hint of the honey mustard flavor to it, but it's it's a different texture when you eat this. I can't describe this, just the way this oil feels on this, but I can taste the chicken through this sauce. 
I didn't taste the chicken. All I could get was heat. I got the strong mustard flavor and the heat. I think there's a lot of heat in that one. So I've been sitting here, I can still feel the burn in the back uh -huh. of my throat. But I do like this, but it tastes different than what I remember it tasting. Maybe it's just been a long time, but another good one. I like these containers, that way you can just shake. Mm -hmm. Get all that sauce in there. I could do that with some of them. I just use my spoon, but there's some way to use the shaker. You can take these containers home. These are good mm -hmm. for like a little leftovers. leftovers. The yeah. When they come over. Last one, Nashville hot, smoky, spicy heat. Smoky and spicy sensation that delivers a perfect blend of flavor and heat. And I know Bobby's looking forward to it. Look at that Nashville oiled out in there. I might skip this one. Nah, no skipping. <laughs> Some lot of oil in that one. That's what Nashville hot is. You can do it. It seems like the oil makes it hotter. Maybe I shouldn't have shook those up. So if I can zoom in, you guys can kind of see some of those spices on that chicken. Why'd you move that big piece out of the way? I don't want a big piece because I don't think this is going to be one of my favorites. I'm trying to find one that didn't really lay in that oil. They all did. You shook them good. I shook them good. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Oh, that's a good one. Um, I'll try this one, I guess. All right. Does that look all right? There we go, guys. I'm anxious to see your face on this one. <laughs> what are you thinking? That's a definite no. Is my face as red as that sauce in there? Because my mouth is on fire. We got water because we didn't want to get soda because we knew these would be spicy, some of them. This is a definite no. Way too hot. Did you get any of the smoky flavor from that? All I got was heat. That is really hot. I don't like the spices like that. Could you taste the chicken? Just heat, John. All right. Let's get some of that Nashville oil. You better not do that. Look. Bobby's warning me. Yeah, there's a warning on this one. Another one of those sauces that gets you a little bit later. When I first bite into it, I can taste a little bit of that smoky flavor. And Bobby couldn't taste any of it and see it tripping. And then the heat kicks in. Get a little bit of heat in the back of your throat for a while. But I'm comparing this almost to the honey sriracha with the heat level after a while. This one... All I got was heat as soon as I bit into it. I don't know if I had more of the sauce on mine. I don't know. But it's one of those ones that keeps getting a little hotter and it gets in the back of your throat and it just goes away. No, mine got hot in the beginning and my tongue is still burning. Wow. My tongue's not burning at all right now. <laughs> it's something else though, Bobby. I haven't even taken a sip of water yet. This is my second. Can't do that. You want to see how long that burn goes. No, I want it to go way fast. Right. And it's still lingering. After eating all these nuggets, we have to get the new dessert, the apple pie poppers. Four piece order is 249. There's 340 calories in them. It's warm apple pie filling and it's wrapped in a buttery flaky crust. This looks like a mini apple pie. I took the biggest one because I love apple pie. See a bit of sugar on there. Looks like it's gonna be flaky. Mm-hmm, it does. There's the inside. Reminds see, me of a it. pastry dough. Get a little bit of a buttery flavor. Then you get the sweetness from the sugar and the apples inside. This is very good. Can you eat that one in the car? You probably could, but if you just pop it in your mouth, but I would take two bites, so I wouldn't want to get crumbs in my car. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Let's take one more look at that on the inside. All right, let's just see what happens. You tear it in half. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that, guys. That almost looks like a fried dough. Uh-huh. You can only see the insides of it. Being fried adds that little crispiness to it. Tastes a little bit of cinnamon in that pie filling. So you would get crumbs all over the place if uh -huh. you tried it. Now, McDonald's is famous for their apple pies. Theirs are baked. They're not fried. And you like Popeyes. Yeah, they're my favorite. Popeyes is fried, so maybe it's something about the fried ones. I think McDonald's stopped uh, frying them back in 1992. Remember in the old days, you pop one of those in your mouth? Burn yourself bad. Yeah, you have to be very careful. These are not like that. These are good. I would get these. I think this is a good thing maybe keep on the menu. You can buy this in order of four or I think ten. And something else about these, even though they're sweet, 
They're not overly sweet. No, they're Just not. Just right. Just left KFC after trying out their new saucy nuggets. What did you think about them and which one was your favorite? I thought the nuggets were a good size. They put plenty of sauce in all of them. The Korean barbecue was my favorite. I think that would go so well with some rice. And then I would pick the sticky chicky. The other three were just way too spicy for me. My favorite was the honey sriracha. Got a little bit of sweetness and then the heat kicks in. And then my second favorite, probably the Korean barbecue would go well with some rice and it had a bite to it on the back end. A little bit. My least favorite was the sticky chicky. I'm a huge fan of sweet and sour sauce, but that one just didn't bring it like normal sweet and sour sauce. It was good, but it wasn't what I expected. And they brought back the two returning favorites, the Georgia Gold and the Nashville Hot and that oily sauce. What'd you think about those? That was my least favorite. The Both Nashville of them. Hot. Oh, the Nashville Hot was your least favorite. And the other one was spicy too, I thought. I don't know where that was coming from no. in the heat, but for me it was spicy. I kind of like the Nashville Hot. Now the chicken nuggets that we got, I thought they were reasonable size. Mm -hmm, they did too. I mean, you guys saw what the price breakdown was. We always tell you, you can decide whether you want to pay that much for them or not. And we tried something else new here today, the apple pie poppers, four of them for $2.49. What do you think about those? Those were very good. You got that cinnamon flavor with the apples. I like the uh, dough they were mm -hmm. using. It was good dough. It was very flaky. Had a little bit of a buttery flavor mm -hmm. to it. Do what we did. We ordered them after we ate our meal. That way they were nice and hot. It says it was a two biter. For me, it's a one biter. Now, I like that those were fried instead of baked. Gave them that crispiness to them, but they still were soft. Mm -hmm, they were. Reminded me a little bit of fried dough. Worth getting. I think you could eat them in the car. Bobby thinks they'd be all over the place. You just got to be careful, Bobby. Well, they flaked. You know, they were flaky, and I don't know what crumbs all over the car. Oh, well, just eat them in one bite. Just throw them in your mouth. No mess there. I enjoyed everything about our visit to KFC. You always do. Another thing, KFC always comes up with new ideas. Mm -hmm. That's what I like about this restaurant. One more thing. I enjoyed that they already had them sauced. That might be a better way of eating them than having to dip them. And the container that came in were really nice because mm -hmm. then you could just shake them and you get all the sauce all over the mm -hmm. nuggets. If you're ever in this location, stop in and say hi to Stacy. She's awesome. She's very friendly and always helpful with the new items. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J and B have, have left the building. Before we leave, we're gonna tell you the best buy on these nuggets. If you buy five of them, they're gonna be 70 cents each, eight, 57 cents, 10, 59 cents, and 12, 56. Looks like 12 is the way to go. Now we're out of here.